To write the electron configuration for sulfur, we first need to find the number of electrons in the sulfur atom. We can do that by looking at the periodic table, finding sulfur, and looking at the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol. It represents the number of protons, but it also tells us the number of electrons. And once we have the number of electrons, we can find the electron configuration for sulfur. We'll use the chart on the right to help us determine the electron configuration for sulfur. So in that first row, we'll go down and we have the 1s. S orbitals can hold up to two, so we'll put two electrons in that 1s orbital. We'll go down the next row. That gives us the 2s orbital. We'll put two electrons there. And then in the third row, we start out with the 2p. P orbitals can hold up to six electrons. In this case, let's put all six in that p orbital, and we've used 10 electrons so far. Remember, sulfur has 16. In that third row, after the 2p, we have the 3s. S orbitals hold two. We'll put two in there. And then we go to the fourth row, in which we have 3p. Remember, p orbitals can hold up to six, but here we already have 12 electrons in the previous orbitals. So we only need four to give us that 16. If you add them up, two plus two plus six plus two plus four, that gives you 16, the number of electrons in sulfur. So this is the electron configuration for sulfur, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.